Get your running shoes, your heating pad, ice packs, and the Ben Gay. Organizers are putting the finishing touches on the 2024 LA Marathon. NBC Force John Kenny's Climac live at Dodger Stadium with a look at all the preparations and, of course, the street closures that go along with it. Hey, John. It is packet pickup time. That means come and get your bibs. You can do that now at uh, Dodger Stadium. You can see the line of people coming in. They're actually almost uh, walking 26.2 miles just to get in to the expo here. Uh, the big LA Marathon, the 39th LA Marathon happening this Sunday. 40% of the 26,000 or so people are going to be running this. It's going to be the first time they do that. One of the things that we're going to notice uh, as this progresses is something very new and very different this year. Every mile marker is going to be something special. Mile marker seven, for example, is dedicated to Mr. Los Angeles, Tom LaBange, and we've got Bridget LaBange, Mrs. LaBange, Mrs. Los Angeles here with us. This, this is great. I mean, it's a way to honor him. Uh, how are you guys going to do that? What's, what's it going to be set up there at mile marker seven? Well, crack of dawn on uh, Sunday, we're going to be down at Griffith Park Boulevard and uh, Sunset with a table all dressed in green because it's St. Patrick's Day. We're Irish. And uh, with balloons and a live cutout of Tom wearing these shoes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll be there with some uh, with our cheer on and as the runners come through. This would have been perfect too for him considering the, the, the shoes just match the, the color for the weekend. I know. He was gifted these in 2013 from the marathon and the only time he wore them was in 2015 when he was LA's Irish Man of the Year. So it was a big deal and these shoes have been floating around our house ever since and um, uh, they're just they're not that attractive, but I, they mean something. So, so. But, but it also means something to, to do this for Tom, right? I mean, everything that he's done, and I even notice even walking with you here today, people will stop you and tell you the things that he did for them and their community. It's so great because a lot of time we are, uh, I'm a widow of a uh, city widow, so he was gone a lot, but um, in all honesty, since he's passed, People have told us all these wonderful, wonderful stories about things he did for them and uh, in texts and letters and from around the world. And so that's very, very important to us. And things like this today keep him very nearby. And that's really very important to our family. And um, I'm, I'm happy. I want to keep his legacy alive. He was a good, good good person. And everybody knows that. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Uh, I want to share with you the map of the course. So this is the Stadium to the Stars course, which means it starts here at Dodger Stadium, 6.30 in the morning, by the way, and it makes its way all the way to Century City Avenue of the Stars. That is the finish line. We're going to have complete coverage on this on Monday as well, so you want to stay tuned for that. It's supposed to be a very good race, and they're hoping for pretty good weather, too. Reporting from Dodger Stadium, I'm John Kennedy's Klimak. Back to you. Hey, John, you know all about packet pickup day because you've done this before. What words of wisdom can you give the folks out there here this weekend? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was a long time ago. It was 2011. You just got to make sure you just got to make sure you're ready. You got you got to stretch it out. You got to go. Ooh, Although I was talking yeah. to some people who said today they don't stretch for this. That that's what? that's the way they do it is they don't stretch. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Está loca. All right, John, have a good weekend. man.